Stuart Hooper, Bath captain, welcome to Jersey. Thank you very much, yeah, it's uh, great to be here. So back in starting action, what do you and the team want to get out of this pre-season fixture? Um, I think, you know, with that being our second pre-season game, we look for some improvement from the first one, really. Uh, pre-season's all about, you know, obviously getting your conditioning done and getting in the best shape possible, getting to know each other, but also um, making some progress. How has Bath responded to not quite making it into top four action last year? What's the mentality of the players now that the Premiership's almost upon us? Everyone's excited, definitely excited. You know, I think it's a bit of a process you go through when you finish last year. We were obviously all absolutely gutted and disappointed to miss out on the playoffs and then also you know, losing the final of the, of the Amelin Cup. So um, there's plenty of hurt there in the boys over the off-season. And since we come back in, everyone's been kind of sort of revving themselves up and now getting very, very close to, to starting the Premiership again. Jersey's got a new look squad, which you're aware of, um, and aims to be far more competitive in the Championship this year than last. What's your assessment of this weekend's opposition? You know, they're obviously a side who have rebuilt a lot over the summer. Um, new coach, you know, quite a few new players. Um, and it'll be, you know, be, be great to see how they go, not only this week, but obviously through the year. It's a, it's a unique place to come and play rugby. And I've been playing professionally for 16 years now, and it's the first time I've been here. So it's fantastic to be able, be able to come to new places still and experience a new way of rugby in a, in a, in a new place. Now, Bath clearly has a few names and faces on the roster. You've got an all England front row starting tomorrow. Um, tell us about some of the key players and uh, what you expect individuals to do tomorrow. You know, we've got pretty high expectations of each other, whether we're, whether we're training or playing a game. Um, there's some, you know, as you said, there's international stars now throughout the team. And what we really look for is the guys to come here and put in place what we've done in training. Um, some new guys who've come in, Henry Thomas starting a tight head tomorrow. Um, I've not played with him before, so it'd be great to get out and have a run around with him. Um, and then, you know, guys through the backs that are getting a chance. Ollie Woodburn on the wings getting a chance uh, tomorrow with Rocco on the other wing. So, um, yeah, there's some exciting names all over the place. And really, as I said, pre-season's about getting out there. Because when you, when you play a game with someone, it's very different to when you train. So we'll, we'll find out a bit about each other, no doubt. And what do you think the Ireland side can realistically try to get out of this match? No, I think obviously the same, exactly the same for them. They had a game against Air last week where they, I think they won by 40 odd points to nothing. So, um, you know, I'd like to think our challenge will be slightly different to that. Um, and for them, I'm, I'm sure it'll be exactly the same. It'll be about progression and about showing some learning throughout pre-season and showing some, some uh, real edge of, of where they're going to go this year. Finally, Stuart, what's your experience of Jersey uh, outside of St Peter's Rugby Club been like so far? What do you know about Jersey? Um, do you like what you see? I do. I know Matt Banahan's from Jersey. Um, no, I've been. Uh, I've never been to Jersey before. I've been to Guernsey, but uh, so far it's been great. We, we uh, stopped off from the hotel earlier and went for a wander around town. Had a coffee, and everyone was very, very friendly. Everyone knew we were coming, and everyone was um, very welcoming, and you know, saying they were going to come to the game and looking forward to watching the match. So, so far, so good.